He recollected the white cascade of 7-Eleven light, the distinct taste of the jerky he chewed at the counter while she tore the place up. Hot chrome shone outside in the night. That a Harley, the kid working the graveyard shift, had asked. Why'd you hear us coming? The kid shook his head, no. His fingertips were red. You would have if it was a Harley. The kid licked the pistachio dust off his fingers, eyes trained on the girl in the back who moved like a thief. They set him on edge. She was scattered, probably wired out on something, yelling, honey this and honey that and honey, can I get a corn dog? Just kidding. To he at whose demand the kid foresaw himself emptying the register. That your girl, uh, I mean lady, that's her. He hadn't moved from the counter, leaning back on it in his leather jacket, bandana tied over his hair, curling down unkempt over his neck in the back. He appeared to let her do the moving for them both. His appearance was mean, language spare. Still, he emanated calm. The kid supposed you had to be calm to offset a girl like that, chewing jerky in the saddle, loose, on a bronco at the gates. She came to the counter, arms full with whipped cream, wheat thins, shortbread cookies, water. The kid behind the counter was nervous, not looking so hot. That's my bicentennial baby, Will drawled in his best Elvis impersonation, taking me to the millennium. He had thought of the American coin his father gave him when he was really young, with the four distinguished faces engraved on it, attached to a red, white, and blue ribbon. He didn't know what became of it. He didn't move, elbows supporting his back. There was a moment of silence while Cass's face lit up. Then she appeared hurt or overcome with emotion and ran over and kissed him, embraced him. He lost his balance. His shortbread fell to the floor. Both he and the boy were shocked by her reaction to an off-the-cuff remark. Careful, he told her gently. The kid came too suddenly, wiping his fingerprints on his hands, ringing up the food. Tenderness passed. Will pulled some bills and change from his pocket and laid it on the counter. Cass asked for cigarettes the store didn't carry, then bitched rhetorically for a while. The kid followed the hard-packed labels down with his finger to show effort. She sure had attitude. Sorry, lady, he said. Well, well, I guess 7-Eleven wants to kick my habit for me. That's one habit better off dead, Will said in his normal voice. She looked at him with eyes the color of the ocean on the parliament label and laughed without showing teeth. They left. Kid tore open another bag of pistachios, sucked the salty red dust off the first shell. That crazy bitch must have been born in 1976, he said to himself. He felt proud for a second, feeling he didn't normally feel when working this petty bitch of a job. His mathematical skills would have made mama proud.